Welcome back, PlayStation fanboys. Hmm? We're your ex boys. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. We're the easy achievers. We come to you every single Friday sometimes. When we have some news to talk about this time, though, it's a little different. We're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5. What are our thoughts about it? How our two weeks have been with it? And what games did we play on it? First off, these things have been pretty hard to get. So, yes, Alex, I will not bore the audience. We did not have a last-ditch effort to run over to a store to get a pre-order, or maybe a store had the last unit. We were very lucky and were able to procure our own pre-orders pretty swiftly. Yes. So I won't bore any. Luckily. Yeah, I won't bore anyone. It was pretty easy for us. We have the connects. So we, of course, paid full price. We didn't think we were not given these systems just as a precursor for anyone that was doubting us but i want to talk about the ps5 enough of all of that i want to talk about what our thoughts are on the playstation 5 starting with the box i will say we uh do have an xbox series x review already live on youtube.com slash easy achievers technically not youtube.com slash easy achievers because they won't let us have that yet but just type in easy achievers you'll find us now you can see our review there we do talk about the box of the xbox series x and how nice it looked I will now say the complete opposite of that is what this PS5 looks like. It does not look good at all when you open that thing up. It is very it, it, where the Xbox Series S was very pomp and circumstance, and like was it was like the bell of the ball, and it wanted to look really pretty. The PS5 was like, you better be glad I'm here to begin with. You better be glad I'm here. Yeah, it's 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 just like the PS4s. So it's covered in just like like in boxes the box the plastic the the thing that you put on the sides to make sure well, it doesn't jostle got, you, in the box you got the box sleeve mm -hmm. then you got that box mm -hmm. and then you got flaps to open in the box that is true why the why are there why are there four different ways like of boxing this thing <laughs> now i'm gonna cut to the chase here i don't think a single person when they opened their ps5 went oh my god this is smaller than i thought this thing i had my little brother and literally i took it out of the box and i went to grab it with one hand i was like oh my god this thing is huge this is a monolithic I mean, I device mean, I had to put the box down and grab both my hands to slide it out of the box a hundred percent i had to use my feet now i will say <laughs> This thing is ginormous. I am. Oh my God. I will never. I. I honestly did. Like I was. Sh I was shocked when I took the thing out. Even my wife went, "Oh my God." <laughs> my, I, I'm never gonna forget my wife's. Um, she did like her expression <laughs> when she noticed it when she came home. Uh -huh. So she came home. I was and she. And I she remember this. The kitchen completely de ignored it, and I was like, and I was like, oh damn, I'm surprised she didn't see it. And I was like, hey, did you see the PlayStation? She was like, oh, okay, let me see. She was like, oh my god, why is it so ugly and huge? It is. I mean, I I know I would never, I never want to mess with someone's design. That's someone's livelihood. Someone took no, a lot of time out of their life and made that. I will say it is hideous, and I I, lo I love you. You made a great you you designed a something that someone stares at. As soon as someone walks in the room, they, hey, that's grabbing their eye. It well, is hideous. It looks, it looks like an alien. It is. It, it it's like someone looked at the Series X and went, "I want the opposite of that." I want an art piece, like in a guise of an ex, like a PS, uh, a system. Well, they went for next gen future, and that's what they did. I, <laughs> it's just, it was, it's just, it's stunning. It really is. It's stunning. You can only really experience the shock in person. Really, just looking at this thing, picking it up, and just looking how, I mean, how huge it is. It's hilarious. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's it's crazy to where I had it on my entertainment center, like on top, and I was like, you know what? Let me. S um, I had seen a tweet from um, a guy named Gary Witta, mm -hmm. uh, and he. This put, I he heard he's a small indie writer. Is that true? 
I'm sorry? Isn't he a small indie writer? He hasn't done anything I, big in his career, right? He hasn't done, no, done anything? I, I, he's done pretty big stuff. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Alex. He has I written know, I know. in Star Wars, all right? He, I mean, yeah, for sure. He wrote Rogue One. The man is awesome. Go ahead. Hey, you never know. Some people wouldn't know. We had to explain to I know, I know. Words. I'm messing around. I'm messing around. Go ahead. Um, but he had it. He put the systems in his entertainment system, in, like inside, but like his center piece doesn't have a shelf so it's like Mm -hmm. uh, so i like i was like oh i should try that so (laughs) i took my shelf off from the center Mm -hmm. and i put both systems in it Mm -hmm. luckily the xbox xbox fits just fine Mm. now how did that work with the ps5 and now i go put the playstation in there mind you i have this fucking stand on still (laughs) i try to slide it in it doesn't fit I have to take the stand off and then I slide it in and then I like I'm like not even half not even a centimeter away from like where am I if from the little top I'm like oh my god but the at least the inside has like like an inch or two of more like height so it won't overheat or anything so I'm gonna test it to see how it because it fits in there now if and it's not bad because I was trying to tell my wife I was like hey does this look better and she's like Eh, it's about the same. It's either on top or in there. It doesn't do shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, I love your wife, man. <laughs> she's just like, stop talking about it. <laughs> she's just she's so just tired of it. Sleep. I'm in the middle of fucking changing systems. <laughs> no, yeah, I like that. I like the idea of like she's asleep and you wake her up and you're like, hey, I moved it. And she's like, just get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's better than the time where we're uh, she's asleep behind me on the bed and I'm playing Destiny and we're farming materials. We needed spin this metal. We needed spin metal. We had to have it. We had to upgrade our gear. All right. We needed it. God, those were every terrible. Other, every times. other second, our years. There's some over here. There's some over here. Now, I got it to fit though. That's good. I love things that fit snug and tight yeah. around things. Anyways, um, the PS5, no. <laughs> the PS5, I started up after staring at it for 40 minutes trying to figure out, and I will say this, I want to say, was it Business Insider? It might have been. I want to say the original design, and I'm not, I'm not messing with you guys, was apparently bigger. Oh <laughs> I'm not God. joking. It apparently was bigger, and Sony went, it, it can't be this big. <laughs> <laughs> which now, is hilarious you remember the the dev kit pizza oven looking thing yeah would you ra- was that bigger would you rather have them that design god no jesus what no no. <laughs> no, no no that's just a bunch of things like pasted together like uh, i know but it just looks funny how it just looks like a big v it, it does it does it is pretty it was pretty funny now mind the how big it is and how it looks i did enjoy looking at it like all the little details and I do too. Yeah, and starting it up was actually a little satisfying. I will say the startup for this was very nice. Uh, the Xbox, I, I think both startups are actually really good. They're very yeah. uh, modernized, Clean. I'd say. Modernized in a way that you can set up with just an app on your phone. Yep. It is insanely fast. You can just click on a backup and it just backs up your last like saved data for a system. Yeah. And another nice touch on the PlayStation I'll say is, hey, we're about to start the setup. Go ahead and put a disc in and we'll start the install. And like, uh, it's like, oh, thank you. Like, oh, you thought about me. You know what I mean? Like, like it's like Sony yeah, right. was like, hey, how how are you doing today? Like, it was it was so nice. So you're like, oh, OK. All right. I'll go ahead and put a disc in. Thank you. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, how long is this setup going to take? <laughs> I love that. It's gonna be my install gonna be done. I would. Setup's done. Dude, I would. Did that be amazing? They were like, "Hey, go ahead and put a disc in. You're gonna be here for a while." (laughs) No, but we're joking. It was for me at least pretty pretty fast. uh, I would say less than an hour easily, maybe thirty minutes even. Uh, And it it was a quick install. Went ahead and installed Last of Us Part Two. To have that ready for mm-hmm. that plat, I eventually need to get. Yeah, man, um, you need to do it. Now, uh, I want to get to a couple critiques, but also compliments. Okay. First off, kudos to them for in, uh, including Astrobot, a yeah. super fun game. I mean, yes. my God, this was free. If you have a PS5, you can just. This is just part of your system. 
Yep. And you can just play. It is so much fun. It is insane how fun this game is. This is just some random game on the system that they're like, hey, put it in as... as and it's just like an homage to PlayStation. You collect mm -hmm. PlayStation. You're like inside the PlayStation 5 in this kind of game world of, of 5 to PS5. And the you're best thing is if it makes you feel like the like the controller like it's of like, course this is the control it, the controller yeah it's a demo for the system which is amazing and, and they have yeah. you immediately say hey you want to know what dual sense is here it is and they show you what dual sense is we've been thinking about like what is this really really and it's yeah. literally you hold you you it's what is advertised it is trying to realistically depict what is happening on uh, the game. So for the startup, you hold the right trigger or left trigger down. It gives resistance. And when you hit the very bottom, little rocket thrusters come out the PS5 just to kind of show you how DualSense can be used in a, in a certain aspect. And it's a really cool idea. And then mm -hmm. I go and play all over the game. There's artifacts in the game where you can pick up old PlayStation stuff, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. um, I found a, PS, uh, a PSP camera. Oh, funny. Which, like, what? A PSP camera? That's amazing. Like, the such a such a welcome taste of just what the system can do with this incredibly fun game and lighthearted touch on everything shout out to sony for that one very good yeah did you even play the game you, you like I, pl played the very I, beginning right yeah i started it and i got to the little um like i did the very first like demo little area yeah and i start and i got to the little hub i guess to where like it showed where you can go and i started jumping on little platforms and but then i stopped yeah, you wanted to play something else. Alex, yeah. you wanted to go play Spider-Man Miles Morales, correct? Uh, you know it, man. I want to say this is one of the best depictions of Miles, in my opinion, ever, period. And mm -hmm. I've read many of comic. So this is incredible. Love him. Love this iteration. And I love that he got his own game. So yep. cool. He got his own game dedicated to him. There's no shenanigans. Just him. You're playing around him. He's figuring out his thing. And the storyline, just so good. Yes, so good. No, I enjoyed that game. So I will much. not. I I don't really want it to. We have a spoiler cast later on in the week. We we will mm. record and talk. So I don't want to talk any story here. But I will say, if you think about getting Spider Man, you don't have to get a PS Five. You you can get a PS Four. Buy mm. it on PS Four or PS Five. Play it. It is phenomenal. My wife had no attachment to the game. She walked into the last mission, watched the last mission, cried tears with me at the end. <laughs> it, and just it got, have have fun. It is so much. I love it. Had a great time. Yeah, dude. And it's it's so it's so much fun. I didn't think because I was just planning the original Spider-Man game just maybe like a month ago. And now I'm literally four trophy three, four trophies away from planning Miles Morales. Good for you, man. Welcome. Like it's so much fun. I'm so I'm so glad you're liking it, and I'm glad um I'm glad it's getting popular. Like people clearly like this game. Uh, it, its sales numbers are going to be good. The Spider-Man sales number apparently hit around 20 million, which is insane. Uh, mm -hmm. The sales numbers for that are astronomical. Good for them. Good for Insomniac for showing off. Great, great for everyone involved. Yes, for sure. Now, we touched on a little bit dual sense. Mm -hmm. we got our hands on it mm -hmm. what do you think now i i like the controller i like the way it feels it depends on the game with this whole dual sense active trigger or whatever the hell it's called yep adaptive adaptive trigger thank you i like what i was feeling with astrobot okay i hate it for call of duty mm -hmm. now i will say did you play campaign with it or online? I played both. Okay, both. Now, do you like it on campaign? No. It's a little better in campaign, but with the online, it's horrible. I will say, I, I will, I will so echo you here. I have not played it myself, so I cannot say anything. I will say adaptive triggers for an online multiplayer game, probably not the best option, especially if you can turn it off because it is inherently worsening yes. your shot right like yes. by yes. default yes. it is making you worse to shoot oh my god it was horrible like, so like the guns in the new cold war game pretty much have no recoil it made me have recoil <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And it I, was it was just to I even turned it off, but it's still there. Interesting. It's still there like even I, with the turn yeah, off. Like if you go through settings, there's a, it's it'll say trigger effect. You can disable it. Okay. I turned it off, and now you can still feel it. Like it's still act. You can still feel the adaptive triggers a little bit. And I just, dude, I it was not, I'm not a fan of it for Ali's multiplayer. Right. So right. Yeah, I would. A little bit, but I don't know. I would never have it on for multiplayer. I'm just not that guy. When I play multiplayer, I'm playing to win. I'm not playing mm. to like not win or do bad. So, I, I definitely would have it off. Um, I, I am very intrigued to play it on Call of Duty. I will say, I love the DualSense. It feels yeah. nice. It does feel fragile, though. Yeah. I feel like if I drop it, the adaptive trigger will break. And and it becomes a mess, I assume. Mm-hmm. If I feel like at once once it gets a good drop, it's over. You gotta buy a new one. That's 70 bucks. Um, mm. I, I cannot say that. Of course, I haven't dropped yet, and I'm not going to. So uh, I can't it. speak of the durability, but it does feel like it will break easily. Um, another thing with the DualSense, it feels fantastic. It is easily yeah. my favorite PlayStation controller. It is not my favorite controller, but it is my favorite PlayStation controller by far. It feels fine in the hands. It does have a nice weight to it, which is per- which is it is very. It, it doesn't sound like something you want in a controller, but if it has a good weight it just fits perfectly in the hand and you have something to hold mm-hmm. i do and like that it does feel new if like it's not if, the, just the same thing yeah and that's something we didn't get with the xbox right we didn't get really a new controller we got kind of the same thing with yeah. a new button and new grips this one mm-hmm. is undoubtedly new <laughs> like it is yeah. nothing like our old stuff so this is new which is mm-hmm. which is a good thing i think and and fun to experience something new uh, I will say it, it feels nice. I like the adaptive triggers. I like if it in single player games. I like that it communicates with the system. I will say mm-hmm. I felt almost none in Spider Man Miles Morales, which is unfortunate. Um, I did a little bit with, I, with the swinging. That's what I'm saying. A little bit though. I don't want right. I don't want to mm-hmm. kind of every now and then be like, oh, that's right. I'm having adaptive. Tri-. No, I want to like really like. Feel, I thought I was gonna feel nice weight. With a swing, like a nice momentum shift every time I would get, like how how nice would that be? Where you kind of like like kind of like a dance with Miles, with like the the adaptive triggers like co- constantly going on and off, and you're just pressing you it and, and constantly doing and tricks. And I, I feel like that's not that there. One, though, I think with I, they didn't make it as uh, as what was what's the word? Um, they didn't make it as as more noticeable with I feel like with Spider Man because you're with that one you are constantly hitting that trigger uh-huh i feel like I'll, so i feel like that they don't want like i feel like my it, like, like if it was as strong as it was with those triggers for call of duty my finger would get tired and uh, i would not want to swing I, I and i i it's one of those um i don't remember this the 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 kind of metaphor for it but it is one of those things where like hey i probably wouldn't like it i don't know but i don't have the option to to see if i like it so i don't know if i won't like it or not so i do feel like there is almost no no use of adaptive triggers in miles morales and that is a first party game i will say i do think this is going to go by the wayside i feel like this is a and i and i don't i'm not trying to shock or be like the guy about it but i do think this is sort of a connect ps move (laughs) not not of course not that you know not that extreme but i will say i think this will mainly be used by first party devs and that's probably it i don't think many third party people are going to be utilizing adaptive triggers i think we've seen that in six axis we've seen it in connect ps move we've seen that in with some other games with just random stuff in it I, i'm drawing a blank but there's so many things we can pull from that there's a new thing in the thing and no one uses it so i'll be curious to actually see viability maybe i look like an idiot in two or three years and then like it's utilized and everyone loves it i don't know but i am worried that it's just going to be gone in the next few weeks or sorry a few years well, i mean we'll see we'll see i mean i i'm 
I mean, it feels great for certain games, but then for some, it doesn't. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I get it. And I, I'll be honest with you, I was getting kind of tired just mashing the button in Spider-Man too. I, like like in certain fights, I was hitting X. I'm like, Jesus, all right. Oh, God, all right, my thumb's getting a little tired here. And I, mm-hmm. felt like, I felt like an old band for a second. I didn't like that very much. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I played. Really yeah, we are. Oh, sadly, we'll die soon. Anyways, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, phenomenal game. Phenomenal experience, especially with your new system. Alex, did you play anything else on your PS5? I played. I played some bug snacks. Mmm. And, and snacks that uh, are bugs. Bug snacks. We're eating snacks. They're bugs. Not gonna lie. Hella weird game. R- I really weird. It, but I want. It's a hella weird game. But I did start Demon Souls. Ooh. Man, that shit is hard. <laughs> of course, right? I will say <laughs> I heard. I heard the um. Oh, what's the what's the class? One of the mages is overpowered, apparently. Really? Yeah, I'm I'm a standard knight. I mean, every, I'm sure everybody's gonna be like, oh, you know, newbie, all that stuff, whatever. I've always liked the knight. It doesn't, I don't, it doesn't bother me. I wanted like, you know, that's the one that's they they always show on the trailers and stuff, and that's mm-hmm. I've always been the the knight. Same here. Knight. Every Dark Souls, I've always been mm-hmm. the knight guy, basically. Yeah. So I'm a simple and, bitch. And it dev, dude, it definitely runs amazing. I mean, the 60 frames, the graphics look outstanding compared to the original one. I've never played the original, but I've seen gameplay. But, God, they've changed so much. But uh, I definitely want to play more, but, God, it's hard. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, looks like, hold on. This feels fine. So, r- royalty, apparently. Mm-hmm. Uh is over overpowered apparently you said royalty yeah apparently or, or that's what the build is called and, and okay. you do spells that are like insane um one mr at maxim cortez uh, mm-hmm. uh he's a small twitch streamer i don't know him too well um <laughs> but uh mm-hmm. at maxim cortez i i um he tweeted this out he said he stopped playing as it because it felt too op he wanted to like get the experience really? of getting his teeth kicked in so he's he didn't play as it anymore goodness yeah i get it i get it that's the game like you know that's kind of the point of the game right you're supposed to get mad and pissed off <laughs> yeah so i i get it but i i want to i kind of want to try royalty and, and be that guy where, where it's like did you beat it and i'll be like yep but with royalty and, and i'm completely disregarded after that i definitely i i actually want to try it now too <laughs> yeah yeah now alex We've been skirting by it. We haven't brought it up yet. We talked about the controller. We talked about the game. Alex, the UI. Yeah. Completely new. Yes, completely it is. standardized. Completely in the system as as much as the PlayStation Store is now too integrated. What are your thoughts? It is completely different. It's a brush of fresh air or something that you are distasteful so far what do you I, think I, I i like it better to be honest interesting can can you explain so, why so i i mean i like how every it, i don't i haven't i mean i'm hoping that they add it but i hope they add themes again because that they, was always awesome they won't <laughs> um they hate but, us alex uh, they will never do it Hey, we'll see. I mean, they didn't have. I don't. I don't think they had themes on day one for PS4, did they? Um, I want to say they did. I don't know. I mean, I. I'm, they could. They might have because PS3 had it. Um, but um, I mean, I'm enjoying the UI. It's simple. I do like the. Um... Alex, would you say it's simple and clean? Mmm. Mmm. It. It, it it is to an extent because I, I i do not like to where i can just hit one button and go to my trophies i have to hit the playstation button go all the way to my profile icon then i can hit trophies i wish it was just uh, like like uh, already on the in the main the main uh screen like it used to be i do feel like trophies got shafted in this update Right, yeah, you like, would think you would think you'd hit one button and you'd see the trophy list. It would be, yeah. it, it you know where it would be. So if you don't have a PS Five, I'll, I'll quickly reiterate: when you're in a video game, if you hold down, um, which by the way everything's different now, which is upsetting. You don't even gotta hold it; you just hit it. 
Sorry. Sorry. That's why it's upsetting. I, you think you would hold it to like turn the system off. You don't anymore. Fr- mm. Frustrating. You have to hit the PlayStation button on your controller. That brings up a game bar. Mm-hmm. And you have certain selections you can press. You would think trophies would just be there. That's Why is there not a logo for trophies there? Do we I not agree. matter to you, PlayStation? Is that what you're telling me, PlayStation? I'm getting closer to my mic because I'm upset. Yeah. Please go on, Alex. No, I definitely agree. I like when I was first setting it up, I was thinking I was like, "Oh, with Xbox, you can, you know, uh, you it says that you can edit your the game bar." So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna look for trophies because it's not on the list. I look for it. Something about music. Something about the controller. I'm like, uh, all right. I I don't care what devices are connected to. Want to see the controller? I mean, I like that I can see the battery. That's I mean, before I was always like, all right, what's my battery at? Um, but. I, I I don't understand why trophy wasn't a thing. So I'm like, okay, I, let me look for it. I go all the way to my sto- my my profile, and then I have to hit my profile, and then there's the trophy list there. But now then please, that, then it will bring it up. Please tweet at EVM9000 at Crazy Flip Skater on Twitter if we are absolute morons and there's an easier way. I do not think there is. No, there's not. There's no, not. There's no. not. But but if there is, like please hour, just mess with the ui and there's there's no the, i don't think so either. i'm just saying if there is tweet at us also just follow me all right okay is that so much to ask i'm just kidding anyways uh, i'm on the ui what do you think about the different games and medias that's really nice in my opinion um you have your games side and your media side that's really nice yeah i mean i on the media side doesn't really pertain to me because I'm not using the system for any media whatsoever. So mm-hmm. I'm adding, it was trying, literally when I plugged up my external hard drive, it was trying to like download or update Netflix, Hulu, YouTube and stuff. But I was like, honestly, I didn't care for it because I wasn't going to use it for that. Um, but it's cool that it has that option for the people who that's, of course. that's their main console. Of course. And I do enjoy that the PlayStation store is integrated now. It's so much better integrated. So much better. Yeah. It is way quicker, nice, snappier. You can go over there and it gives you like, hey, these are the must-have games or whatever. And it's like, oh, yeah. well, that's the game I want. Click it. You go and buy it. Yep. I'm going to now bitch. No, <laughs> Why is it so hard to play a PS5 game and not the... P- I don't want the PS4 version. Oh, my why, God. Why, Sony, why? Why is that even a... Th- why is that even a thing? It, for some reason, it just defaults. To why console. would you default? Pay. In what world would I want to be like, you know what? I don't want to play the PS5 version of Call of Duty. No, I want to play the PS4 version. Like, like really, give me a break here, guys. Come on, come on, come on. You know I want to play the PS5 version. At the very least have an option to where I can just click and say prioritize PS5 or click it and say hide from my list or something. I never want to see a PS4 version if a PS5 version exists. You know how long it took me to figure that out? I was literally Uh, sitting there trying to download Cold War and I'm like, why is it say PS4 version? Is this like, did I get, did I get a PS4 copy of the game? Like, I don't understand. And it took me like, oh what 15 minutes to figure out that i can hit that button and it'll say oh there's different versions hit that one i'm like oh oh, but i'm on a ps5 why didn't it just give me the ps5 version alex right now on my home i have my ps5 on right now on my home screen right now i have call of duty black ops cold war ps4 It's not downloaded on my system. Why is it here? <laughs> it, it even says the little download icon is on it. So, like, why would I want this on there? <laughs> like, it's just such a silly move on an otherwise very clean UI. So, it, it juts out even more. Mm. Another thing. This is a praise. So, I'm done bitching. <laughs> Shout out to them for having game presets. That needs to be on Xbox. Did you see this? Game no, presets. Really? You didn't see this? So th- so th- you go into settings. Okay. You go to game, I believe it is. Okay. Um, I don't remember where it is, but apparently... Sorry, not apparently. I've done it. There is a game preset. So what you do is you click on that option, and it gives you 
all the options in a normal game. You can then set your presets and it will auto fill in the games you play. So let's say I bought uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay. When I load up Assassin's Creed, it will pull from my presetted settings uh, uh, and automatically choose those settings for me. And then I can just review and say, yeah, I want those settings or not. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm not making sense. Settings for what though? Like for which game is showing up or would your settings in game? So you have a, so think about, I have a default setting for my games. So if I want my, my sticks inverted for first person games, but not third person games, I can do that or both or none. If I want, uh, always the default setting of difficulty on games, I can do that. Or do I always want the easiest? I can do that. Do I want? Gotcha. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Mm-hmm. It, it's like, do you, it, do you want um, this specific setting on on your games? Yes, no, and then that's just. It, and then your game will pull from your settings, and you mm-hmm. can just change from there, keep it that way, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Gotcha. Okay. And that's just a cool thing. That should be an X. That should hundred percent be an Xbox thing. Now they should uh, totally take that, which apparently was a three sixty game, a three sixty thing that I never knew. That was a fun okay. fact from Ryan McCaffrey. Apparently, that was a three sixty um preset thing i never never remember that so shout out to him for knowing that i have i do not know that um Mm. but alex anything i missed we went over some games we played the systems ui we didn't really have any issues so far i will say i had one crash one crash on spider-man miles morales um nothing crazy other than that so far so good knock on wood I haven't had any issues with it. Um, I and I am glad that it's not sounding like a jet engine. I will say it is pretty hot. quiet. Yeah, it is pretty quiet. I haven't. I I even put my ear to it, and I couldn't even tell it was on. I just put my tongue in it. Nothing happened, so I think it's good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Alex, that that's what I have for you today. That's all we can think of to talk about. Um, it's ginormous. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I got one thing for you. Oh my god, give it to me. This fucking stand, side like sideways or, or horizontal or vertical. Like, oh, what what, what I do? Prefer? Yeah, what, what do you prefer? If I had the option, I would prefer it vertical behind my TV. I don't have that okay. option, so it's technically horizontal. It would really depend on my new entertainment center when I buy one. Most mm-hmm. likely it will be horizontal, but I would prefer vertical for both my systems because it does seem that it's they're designed that way. Like and the Xbox and the PlayStation, I will say they they should probably be vertical. Yeah. Well, you said vertical now, you, and you said behind your TV. Now, would do you want to hide it or do you? Um, do Alex, you... it's hideous. Of course, I want to hide it. <laughs> no, I'm 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 in. I'm saying in jest. I. I like the idea of systems behind the TV. I feel like it gives like an elegance, but you do see mm. the underneath portions. So I would almost like to hang them behind the TV and they're kind of hidden. So like, gotcha. but, but that's too hard. So I would never do that. Re- in reality, mm. perfect world, Alex, and mm. just sit down. I'm, I'm going to give you my perfect version. Okay. Okay. I got the TV mounted. Okay. I have reworked the wires into the wall going underneath the, uh, to the inner entertainment center. So invisible wires. Yeah. Yep, I got you. I now have my entertainment center. I hook up all the systems there. Systems will be on top just to see. Vertically, just to see if I want that. Switch okay. PS5, Xbox Series X. If mm-hmm. I don't like that, I put them horizontally inside of the entertainment center. Okay, <clears throat> and that's so far is like my, that's that's what I would like. I don't think, mm. I I don't I don't think that that's I think far away, but mm. that's my perfect world scenario for these new systems. I feel like we've gotten off track in this PS Five review, <laughs> but it wouldn't no. it wouldn't be an easy achievers podcast if we did not. Now, what were you gonna say, Alex? Now I have the PS Five and the Xbox vertically up on my entertainment center and they don't look bad it is definitely a, a like uh like i don't understand why it has to be so big but um i did like i said i put them uh i said earlier that i put them in my entertainment center standing up i was able to find a way and 
it does make it better because it's a little more hidden, but it's still viewable, like from the face, from the front face. So kind of like so the entertainment center is kind of enclosing it, so you can't really see the, the how big it is. <laughs> so it's kind of like hi it's it's kind of like hiding the the like the redheaded stepchild. Ah, uh, I only, see. You can only like peek at it. A yeah. Bit. Yeah, yeah, it's like Harry Potter in that uh, very popular series. I don't remember what it's called, but you know they put him underneath the stairs so they don't see him. So they put him underneath the stairs. You mean the Harry Potter series? I don't. Th I think that's. I think you're talking about a Star War, Alex. Mm -hmm. And on that note, okay. thank you so much for joining our PS5 review. This is, of course, the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Talking about the PS5. If you want us regularly, we come to you every single Friday sometimes. And we give you the latest news we think you need to know because we're communists. Just kidding. If you want more of us, you can, of course, head over to patreon.com slash EGTubers. You can give us a dollar. That keeps the mics on, the lights on, Alex's dogs fed. We have several tiers that you can experience yourself. And you can, of course, <laughs> utilize their DM service. You can DM us a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea. We read it on the show. We talk it over. Do we roast you? Maybe. I don't know. You'd have to write in to find out. We love you. Remember. That was a long one. Go, Chief. That was what I was about to say. I thought you I thought it broke. <laughs> Go, Chief.